Thursday, <clears throat> March 9th, 2023. Um, there's this word somewhere in the diction called arbitrage. My entire life seems to be some summation of some arbitrary facts um, I'm watching the Hall of Mirrors in what Hollywood put out um, under Warner Brothers Studio in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince there's mention of Draco Malfoy. Of course, I looked up Draconian Law, the fight with the Greeks. And then there's this Belichick mention in this particular episode. Now, this came out in 2009, but I'm in 2023. There's talks of the cabinet the vanishing cab vanishing cabinet with death eaters and then there is this room it's held in the room of requirements i found all of this very interesting they then mention this story to Harry about the fish. Again, I'm on an island. It looks very much like a fish. They tell Harry about his mother, Lily. The overall is how she died for him. How much she loved him. And again, at vanishing requirements with arbitrary issues built into my life events um, and somewhere there being a petticoat junction. There's some Tom Riddle. There's real pieces of US history there's this overall maleficent way that I've been harmed. And yet, I don't know whether to thank the good Lord that there is at least evidence of whatever again this lily is a special flower um there's this walk that my grandfather used to take me on um, and we would pick, there's a common name for this particular lily. There's a lot of lilies, so I've heard. Um, but the lily that he chose for me that used to be here by the lake on the walking path, which is no longer here. Again, the type of man my grandfather was. He made contacts. There were others that walked the same path that knew the common name for this lily that is only from this area in whatever the vanishing cabinet is put on file with important places. I've never told anyone about our walks, not even my own children. 
But yes, the, yet this lily exists. I know the common name of the lily for this area. I mean, this flag and pattern system still. So I'm going to go get pieces of that movie uh, that really stuck out today um, from the pa Harry Potter series. It's the movies, the numerics is six on it. Um, um, so in this particular scene, this is where um, a professor mentions um, the story about Lily, uh, and of course it's James Potter. The student who gave me glasses. The spring afternoon I discovered a bowl on my desk. Just a few inches of clear water. Floating on the surface of a flower pet. As I watched, it sank. And it reached the bottom. It was transformed. Moving fish. Beautiful wreck. Wondrous to behold. The flower petal had come from a lily. The day I came downstairs, the day the boat was empty, was the day of the flood. No one will get it. But I can't help it. It would ruin me. You know why I survived, Professor? Might have got this. Because of her. Because she sacrificed herself. Because she refused to step aside. Because her love was more powerful than Voldemort. Don't say his name. I'm not afraid of the name, Professor. I'm going to tell you something. Something others have only guessed at. It's true. I am the chosen one. Only I can destroy him, but in order to do so, I need to know what Tom Riddle asked you all those years ago in your office, and I need to know what you told him. Be brave, Professor. Be brave like my mother. Otherwise, you disgrace her. Otherwise, she died for nothing. Otherwise, the bowl will remain empty. Forever. Badly off it when you see it. I have no idea what he was like even then. Now, this is interesting. The crux of the situation. Um, draconian laws, Greece, seventh century. The Ankh, mid 17th century, and the crux of the situation. I was in the library that night, in the restricted section. I read something rather odd about a bit of rare magic. I thought perhaps you could illuminate it. It's cool, I understand it. I 
about such things. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Now get out of here at once. Now they speak of this whole crux. Um they also speak of this eternal record, but they also speak of, I mean, again, it touches on the transcendence of time, especially in like a super symmetrical superposition for which one apparates and incarnates and then is able to almost clone its own clock well into the future. It is real. It is real. It has happened. I happen to have one of these superpositions. Confused? I'd be surprised if you weren't. I don't understand. Why would he tamper with his own memory? I suspect he's ashamed of it. What? I did. I asked you to get to know Professor Slughorn, and you have done so. I want you to persuade him to divulge his true memory any way you can. I don't know him that well, sir. This memory is everything. Without it, we are blind. In my situation, it feels like the public arena is so caught up in petty issues. Petty coats, petty issues, maybe has something to do with the merchants and the pea coats. It just, whatever, at entropy. But then there's this arbitrage that it feels has already happened. I don't know why the arbitrary facts seem to be like in this crushing state on my person. Um, but I know that when I was younger, there was this family member I was intended for, and I am not clear why the humans chose to go with petty issues and arbitrary issues and create Hollywood document or epithet as insurance, I'm assuming. So again, there's this, and then there's this mention of this vanishing cabinet. And if you notice, Dumbledore has these very elongated fingers and hands. They move a little differently than some of the others. Thank you. 
Jesus up below, Harry. Speak with his seed by anybody without my permission. Whatever happens, it's imperative you stay below. How do you do this? Draper. What brings you here on this fine spring evening? Who else is here? I heard you talking. I often talk aloud to myself. I find it extraordinarily useful. Have you been whispering to yourself, Draper? Draper, you are no assassin. How do you know what I am? Some things that would shock you. I like crushing cake. They have this associated with Athena in Athens, in Greco, 7th century. Well, I'm hoping that in return she'd bear a cursed necklace to me, like replacing a bottle of mead with one laced with poison. Forgive me, Draper. I cannot help feeling these actions are so weak that your heart can't really have been in. Trust me! I was chosen! I shall make it easier for you. I think the introductions are in order, don't you? And there's that name in the upper chamber or the upper room that Dumbledore knew how to address them as. While Harry's under the floorboards. It's star one nine seven eight, star eight three seven eight. Michael Ketter is of its Earth, solar system, Milky Way universe, galaxy is broken. And it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, one one three six one. 